Welcome to this tutorial on working with placeholders. Placeholders are a great way to change and update the inputs used in graphics and virtual scenes, such as the virtual video wall. Think of them like media playlists, you can have up to 8 placeholders, each of which can be updated with different content. To access placeholders, simply navigate to the placeholder tab on the left side of the virtual client application in production mode. From there, you can create and manage up to 8 placeholders. Using the placeholder dock, you can easily switch out the content in your virtual video wall and other graphics in a streamlined and user-friendly interface. So, let's get started and see how easy it is to use placeholders in your virtual productions. To get, get started, you can create a new playlist by giving it a desired name. If you already have an existing placeholder list, you can open that as well. Once you're in the playlist, you can start adding your production assets such as text, videos, including live and SDI inputs and more. To add a video, simply click on the designated button, select the video from your drive, and modify it using the video controls. You can also set in and out points for your video by using the buttons provided, allowing you to trim and customize your content to fit your virtual productions perfectly. Finally, you can set a thumbnail image for your selected video, giving you an easy reference for your content and making it easier to manage your playlists. With these tools at your disposal, you'll be able to create dynamic and engaging virtual productions in no time. You can easily drag and drop images and videos directly from your drive into your placeholder list. It's a quick and convenient way to add content to your virtual productions. Once you have added your media, you can access media control buttons from the playlist, allowing you to fine-tune and customize your content as needed. To add an image or video to a slide, simply select the desired slide and add the media to it. You can create multiple slides in this way, and double-click on a slide to activate it in the virtual video wall. You can also check the placeholder numbers from the PH Index button. Adding text to your placeholders is just as easy, simply type the desired text into the columns provided, such as a name and designation. You can see the text added to the virtual screen in real-time reflections. To select an NDI source, select it from the drop-down list and double-click to activate. You can add up to 8 NDI sources and take a live input by double-clicking on the live button. With the arrow buttons, you can easily switch between slides, and you can freeze a placeholder to avoid accidental changes while the content is on air. If you need to delete a slide or an entire placeholder, the delete and clear buttons make it easy to do so. In the Engine tab, you can view all 8 placeholders' inputs, including live thumbnails and video timelines. When you're ready to set your placeholder to the program, simply click on it to set it in the preview window and press the take button with the required transition mode. With these tools and features, you'll be able to create professional and engaging virtual productions with ease. 